pieces off Cause I wear a silly grin The moment you come into view Chances are you think that Chances I'm are. in love uh, with Jeffrey you. Rosenthal uh, is from the U of T. Uh, yep. Professor of uh, in the Department of Statistics. Yep. That must be a fun time down there. Oh yeah, we're yeah. just a barrel of laughter from the Department <laughs> of Statistics. Um, now you have written this book, Struck by Lightning: Curious World of Probabilities, and yeah. this is going to be really fascinating. Thank you. Uh, because, well, I bought my lottery ticket. Well, there you All go. All right. Mm -hmm. And I haven't scratched it yet. What? When we talk about probabilities, I'm looking at this, and as I'm scratching, and I'm thinking, oh, well, fifty thousand, that'd be really, really <laughs> nice. What are my chances? Well, the short answer is the chances get smaller and smaller the larger the amount you win. So winning a free ticket or $5, they do that fairly often to keep you interested, to keep you coming back. But to win the big jackpot, say, of a Lotto 649, well, chances are about one chance in the 14 million. Or to put it another way, you have a better chance of being killed in a car accident if you drive across town to buy a lottery ticket than you do if you're in the jackpot. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's not good. It's not very likely. <laughs> but um, yeah, if, you, if you find it fun to buy lottery tickets, that's great. But if you're doing it hoping to win the jackpot, then as they say in the book, somebody's going to win the jackpot this month, but it's not going to be you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, my, Sorry. You know, my grandparents used to buy the lottery ticket. Yeah. And um, my, my grandmother would always pay the extra dollar for the kicker. Okay. And my grandfather would say, what are you doing that for? What, you know? She hit the kicker. Yeah. She would tease her all the time, every day. Yeah. Why are you giving that extra dollar? How much dollar? did she make? Did she make she a lot? She won 100 grand. Yeah, well, there you go. Her. There and you she go. bought him a new car. <laughs> Just oh, that's a, pretty good then. <laughs> Just that's to spite great. him. Yeah. How'd your scratch go okay, there? Not, okay, I got four years to scratch. I scratched one. Yeah. I didn't win anything. Oh, sorry. All right, so I'll scratch the other one in just a minute. Now, okay. do you believe in probabilities? Do you, do you like, the chances, uh... I find them comforting a lot, because I fly a lot. Yeah, well, yeah. That's, that's a good example, because, I mean, probabilities, they come up so much, right? Whether it's, you know, whether you win the lottery, or whether your airplane's going to crash, or whether the terrorists are going to strike, or whether your bus is going to be late, and so on. And I think just having a bit of a perspective on, you know, what, what are the probabilities, how does it, what does it mean to understand them, can, as you say, make you less afraid to fly, or less afraid of the terrorists, less afraid of diseases, because all these things kill usually a very small number of people, these things that we hear about in the headlines. Okay, when someone says, you know, someone answers the phone and says, I was just thinking about you, or they hear that someone has passed on and they say, oh, you know what, I had a thought about yeah. them yesterday. When... Yeah, well, I talk in the book about what I call the out of how many principle, and the way I say it is, you know, we're always thinking of things, and we're always hearing about things, and we're always visiting people and seeing things. And every once in a while, those things are going to line up. Someone will call just when you're thinking about them, or you'll see a picture that's just exactly like what you saw yesterday. And uh, it happens every once in a while, just because there's so many opportunities for it to happen. And then we tend to remember the times that things happen that, that seem interesting. And that's what we call sort of a, um, a bias sampling. We remember the interesting, unusual things. We don't remember all the hundreds of other times you were thinking about somebody and they didn't call. So, all right, I just scratched fun. the next area. I won four dollars. Did you? Yes, I did. Congratulations! Well, I thought those small prizes to keep you coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to go over yeah, to buy it next month. Yeah. Well, the people who do lotteries, the people who do casinos. Yeah. They they pay people like you yeah that's right yeah i mean casinos and lottery companies they, they always make money and that's one interesting thing and i talked in the book about for example a, a casino well if you go to the casino you might win money if you're lucky or you might lose money but the casino in the long run always wins money and that's by what we call the law of large numbers and it says that um any one bet could go either way but since the odds are weighted just a little bit against the player it means over the long run the casino is going to win. Over the long run, that little bit of waiting is going to add up. So if you're playing craps, for example, you have about a 49.29% a chance of winning, just barely under 50%. And yet it's enough that if everybody's out there playing craps all the time, the casino is going to win loads and loads of money. Whereas if you had a 50.1% chance of winning, then in the long run, the casino would, would, would lose all their money. Yeah, I'm scratching the last two play areas. <laughs> oh, I won another $4. You really? Did. You really? You're not making eight this up, No, right? I'm not making it up. Right. I'm up to $8. Yeah. And how much that cost you? Four dollars. Four right? So you're up. It's actually a profit here. You see it live on television. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So and then yeah. uh, just and then you, good luck in the fourth right. one. So you made four dollars that time, and you know maybe next time you lose four dollars off. But in the long run, I can guarantee you that at least for most people, you're going to spend more than you make, and that's why lotteries make so much money, and that's why the government has these uh, lotteries to try to make money. What are the chances that when you die, you will be put on display in a science center <laughs> some, somewhere? Well, up until this morning, I would have said pretty low, but I'm going to revise that probability calculation in light of your show here. Jeff Rosenthal, uh, struck by lightning. You know what? 
very interesting, and, it, and it, it, it's a good read for for anyone. Right, it's meant for anyone. You don't need any background in math. It's supposed to be fun and entertaining and amusing, and uh, you just learn things by accident, and then you understand probabilities and how they fit into the world. And you'll find out about your chances of being struck by lightning. Absolutely. And winning $4. And winning $4. <laughs> All right, here's, here's Jennifer.